Spoiler alert, I think you should buy Complete 13. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. So recently Native Instruments released Complete 13 and for the last couple of weeks I've been trying it out. And as I alluded to in the intro, I really believe that you guys should consider buying it as well. But before we get into my top five reasons why I think you should buy it, let's have a quick chat about price. I don't wanna pretend for a moment in this video that it wouldn't be a significant investment for a lot of you to get into Complete 13. However, I do argue that if you make that step, I don't think you're gonna have buyer's remorse. You get an awful lot in any of the packages and I think they all represent great value for money. Now with that said, let's just take a quick look at what those four packages are, how much they cost and what you're saving when you buy them. So Complete 13 comes in four different packages and I'm gonna give you prices for the rest of this video in US dollars. Now the prices I'll give you here are the full prices, but I'm gonna show you some different ways that you can save a little on these at the end of the video. So starting off with Complete 13 Select, this is the cheapest of all the packages. It comes with 16 different instruments and effects, five expansions, 11,000 sounds or over 11,000 sounds. And the price of all the products if you bought them separately in this package would be $1,000 dollars but you can buy this package for $199. Then we move on to Complete 13, what I'm going to call the regular edition for the rest of this video. Now this comes with 68 instruments and effects, 24 expansions, over 36,000 sounds, and if you bought all of the products separately, they would cost you $6,888, but you can buy the package for $599. Then we move on to what is my favorite version version of all of the four versions, Complete 13 Ultimate. This comes with an amazing 118 instruments and effects, 39 expansions, over 67,000 sounds, and the price of this, if you bought it, all the items in it separately, would be $14,478, but you can get it for $1,199. And finally, we move on to the big one, Complete 13 Ultimate Collector's Edition. This comes with 122 instruments and effects, 73 expansions, over 115,000 sounds, and the price, if you bought all of the products separately, would be $17,440, and you can get it for $1,599. Okay, so that's the pricing, but why do I think that you should buy Complete 13? Let's look at my top five, starting in reverse order with number five. Five. So we're at number five, I have effects. Now I know a lot of people focus on the instruments which you get with Complete 13, but I actually reckon you get a great selection of effects which can complement the stock plugins which you got with your door. Starting off with Solid Bus Comp, which you can see on your screen right now, this comes with all versions of Complete, including the Select Edition, and is a really nice bus compressor which can help to glue things together in your final mix. Then when we move up to the regular version of Complete 13, as well as that bus compressor, we get solid EQ, solid dynamics, supercharger GT, and transient master as well. Then when we move up to the ultimate and collector's edition, as well as everything I mentioned so far, we get very comp, enhanced EQ, passive EQ, the wonderful VC76 and VC2A, as well as VC160 as well. These are just the studio effects, but they also have a group of effects which they call creative effects. These are things like delay, modulation, that kind of thing. Now, starting off with all editions, including Select, you get Realm, Replica XT, and Mod Pack Faces. Then when we move up to the regular edition of Complete 13, we get those three that we mentioned so far, as well as Mod Pack Coral and Mod Pack Flare. Then we have the Crush Pack, including Dirt, Freak, and Bite. And then we have the wonderful Guitar Rig 6 Pro, the latest edition of Guitar Rig, a wonderful guitar effects processor and amp sim, which a lot of people have used for a very long time. And this is the very latest edition of it. It's included in all the top three packages. So Complete 13, Complete 13 Ultimate, and the Collector's Edition as well. You definitely wanna check this out. It's not just for guitars. It's primarily designed for guitars, of course, but a lot of people use it sometimes with vocals and with things like 
keyboards as well. Then also with the regular edition, we get driver and the finger as well. And then when we move up to the ultimate and collector's edition, we also get the mouth, molecular, RC48 and RC24 as well. Four. So in at number four, I have strings and classical instruments. Now, although I mostly create contemporary music, I often find myself reaching for these kinds of sounds. Now, maybe you create classical music or create soundtracks for movies, TV series, and games, in which case you may have this ranked a little bit higher in your top five. However, this is my top five, so I do have it in at number four. Now, I'm afraid to say that Complete 13 Select Edition really doesn't have anything to talk about with these kinds of sounds. We have to go to the regular edition of Complete 13 before we find Session Strings 2. Now that in itself is a slightly cut down version of Session Strings Pro 2, which you can see on your screen right now. And this comes with the Ultimate and Collector's Edition. Now I think this is a really great go-to plugin if you want to create some string arrangements. So let's have a listen to that now. Now, if you really want to get a quick start with your string arrangements, then you may reach for action strings and emotive strings. These have kind of preset rhythms which you can apply to different string sounds. And as I say, can get you off to a really quick start. So let's have a quick listen to action strings. <laughs> Now sticking with the Ultimate and Collector's Edition, if you want some more orchestral sounds, then you probably want to reach for the Symphony Series, which includes Percussion, Woodwind Solo, Woodwind Ensemble, Brass Solo, Brass Ensemble, and String Ensemble. And then we have the wonderful Stradivari Violin. This is a new edition. It sounds absolutely gorgeous. I've just been playing around with it for the last few days, and I can't wait to get it into one of my pieces of music. This is how it sounds. So as well as that wonderful violin, when we go up to the collector's edition, we also get the Amati viola, the Guanari violin, and also the Stradivari cello. Now, I can't demo those ones to you because I don't have the collector's edition. Boo-hoo. Three. So in at number three, I have guitars and basses. Now this is a slightly quirky choice for me because I actually play guitar and a little bit of bass as well. But I do use these virtual instruments in my music, especially the virtual bass guitars, but also sometimes the virtual guitars themselves. Maybe when I'm just starting out with a composition, I may keep them in alongside an actual guitar as well. So I'm gonna start off with the basses because that's what I primarily use. And none is better in this collection, in my opinion, than the Scar Rickenbacker bass, which you can see on the screen right now. Now, this comes with all editions of Complete 13, including the Select Edition. I reckon it's got a really great dry sound, but also can be very, very versatile when you start to play around with the different amplifiers and cabinets that you get with this bass as well. Let's have a quick listen. Now, 
when we move up to the regular edition, we get the Scarby Rickenbacker bass as well as the MM bass as well. Then when we move up to the Ultimate and the Collector's Editions, we also get the Pre-Bass, the Pre-Bass Amped, the J-Bass and the MM Bass Amped as well. Moving on to guitars, I'm afraid in the select edition we don't really have anything to speak of, but when we move up to the regular edition, we do have session guitarist Electric Sunburst Deluxe. This is really nice. Let's just have a listen to some rhythm playing on this one. Moving on from there, still with the regular edition and above, we get this strummed acoustic. This is really, really nice. Let's have a listen to this one. Moving up to the Ultimate and Collector's Edition, we also have that strummed acoustic, but part two of that, some really nice variations in there, as well as this peaked acoustic. Let's have a listen to this. And finally, in both the Ultimate and the Collector's Edition, we get Scarby Funk Guitarist. Two. So drums and percussion are a really important part of the collection of sounds that I like to have on my system for creating music. And I'm very pleased to say in terms of drums that every single edition of Complete 13 comes with what you can see on the screen right now, and that is Drum Lab. Very, very versatile with lots of different sounds. Let's just have a quick listen now. when we move up above the select edition we start to get a little bit more versatility in our drum sounds because in the regular edition and above we get abbey road 60s drummer as well as studio drummer now i reckon studio drummer is a really great go-to drum kit for sort of modern drum sounds so let's have a quick listen to that now So when we move up to the Ultimate and Collector's Edition, then the versatility is really piled on because we get everything that we've seen so far, as well as the Abbey Road 50s drummer, the Abbey Road Vintage drummer, the Abbey Road 70s drummer, the Abbey Road 80s drummer, and also the Abbey Road Modern drummer. Now, if it's more electronic drum sounds you're in, then with these editions, you also get the machine drum selection. Let's just have a quick listen to that. Now, before we move on to my number one pick, I just want to make some honourable mentions. I could have included the cinematic sounds, especially with the Ultimate Edition, which includes Kinetic Metal, Straylight, Firelight, Thrill, Mysteria, Kinetic Toys, Damage, Rise and Hit, Evolve, Evolve Mutations, which I use quite a lot, Evolve Mutations 2, and Mallet Flux. Also, I could have included synthesizers, but I don't really use synth sounds all that much. But if that's what you're into, these may well be in your top five. Even with the regular edition, you get Massive, Monarch, Retro Machines Mark II, Reactor Prism, Reactor Spark, Blocks Primes, Massive X, Super 8, TRK01, Form, Rounds, Contour, Absinthe 5, and FM8. And I can't go ahead without mentioning some of the software that you also get. All of the editions come with complete control software. This makes it pretty easy to navigate all the different sounds on your system. And it's not only native instrument sounds, some other compatible sound sets will also appear there as well. Now in the select edition, you get the free versions of Reactor 6 player and Contact 6 player, but with the regular edition and above, you get the full versions of Reactor 6 and Contact 
contact six as well. And that really opens up your world to a whole bunch of other libraries which are produced by other manufacturers. They're free ones and paid ones as well. One. So in at number one, I have pianos. Why have I chosen pianos? Well, for me personally, the piano appears in a lot of my pieces of music, and it probably does for you as well because it appears in so many different genres of music. It really is an evergreen instrument. So I think it's very important to have at least one good quality piano in your collection. Now, I'm very glad to say that this one you can see on your screen at the moment, the gentleman, comes with all editions of Complete, including Select. So let's have a quick listen to this really nice upright piano. So as we move on to the regular edition above, although The Gentleman is a fantastic piano, we get a lot more choice. So you're going to be able to kind of match the tone of your pianos with the particular piece that you're working on. Because with the regular version and above, we get the grandeur, we get the maverick, we get the wonderful giant, which I really love. We get the una corda, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and then the really nice noir, which has these particle effects as well, which I really enjoy the sound of. Let's just have a quick listen to Noir. So as well as all of that, when we go up to the Ultimate and the Collector's Edition, they also include Alicia's Keys. Now, Alicia's Keys is an old favourite of mine. It's not probably the most exciting sounding piano in the world, but it is a really good kind of go-to piano for lots of contemporary music. Let's just have a quick listen to Alicia's Keys in case you've never heard it before. So before we go ahead and take a look at the different ways that you can save money when buying Complete 13, could you do me a small and quick favour? If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Do it for me right away before you forget. Also, if you do like this kind of content, subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my other videos. And if you'd really like to help support this channel, then consider becoming a patron. My Patreon link is in the description down below, and for as little as $1 per month, Month, you can really help me keep making videos like this for you guys. So there's essentially two different ways of saving money when you get Complete 13, by upgrading or updating. Let's take a look at upgrading first with this example. Let's say you're in the market for a new MIDI controller and you get one of the Native Instruments S-Series MIDI controllers. With those, you get a free version of Complete 13 Select and you can upgrade to say the ultimate version for $999. So you get a little bit of saving there. The other way is through updating. This is where you already own a previous version of Complete. So let's say, for example, you want Complete 13 Ultimate. If you go from between versions 8 to 12, it's going to cost you $399. That's a pretty good bargain if you ask me. Now there's lots of different ways or permutations within these two basic methods. So could you follow the link in the description down below to see what all of those are? Let me know as well which package you think is the best value for money, which one you think you'll be going ahead and buying. And if you've already bought it, let me know in the description down below and I'll give you a big congratulations. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.
So while you're deciding which of these two videos to watch, I'd like to thank CMI here in Australia for getting a copy of Complete 13 across to me so that I could show you guys.